Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial, Decentralized Finance. In order to become a good trader and yield farmer, we want to follow the whales, the smart money, the hedge funds. And today, one of our series will learn how to track the hedge funds and we're gonna take and pick a wallet of a hedge fund and analyze the wallet to see what kind of tokens they're holding, what kind of yield farming, DeFi protocols they're using, what kind of tokens they are longing and shorting using DeFi in order to understand what do they think. We're gonna take a look at Alameda Research. We we'll see how we find their wallet and how we track the hedge fund trading institutional money and understand where the market is moving and finding opportunities to tokens to invest, maybe short term, maybe long term, and following the smart money, the hedge funds to make money ourselves. So if it, this kind of thing is exciting for you, make sure to watch this video till the end and subscribe to watch my videos because I'm gonna post a lot of similar videos in the future. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So if you know me, if you're already here, you know that I use Nansen, the amazing tool. It's a tool for on-chain analysis that shows you a lot of on-chain data to find a lot of opportunities and do due diligence for tokens and NFTs. And one of my favorite features is the smart money. I like to track what kind of tokens the smart money, the hedge funds are buying and how their balance are being changed. And this is basically, then of course, I'm gonna do a due diligence about a particular token and see if it's worth investing or, or, or not. And basically here on smart money, on tokens holding, I'm gonna sort here by seven days and another, very interesting thing I saw that basically the smart money, the people that the Nansen analytics, um, the wallets that they basically labeled as smart money, this could be hedge funds or very good traders in crypto. They purchased this week $7.3 million of Serum token, SRM token. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with, with this token, but I posted a previous video about Serum, what it is, how it works, and it's basically a uh, a centralized exchange features on DeFi. For example, they provide protocols and technology for order books, for limit orders on the Solana ecosystems, and Radium Exchange is using Serum, and a lot of other protocols are using Serum. So it's a legit, very technological project and innovative in the DeFi ecosystem of Solana, and I myself invest in Serum Token. If you want to learn more about Serum Token, token check out my other video about Serum, uh, more technical about what is this protocol and how it works, because this is a bit out of scope, but I just saw that, that this smart money is buying Serum Token, but I don't know what actually happened. Maybe they withdraw it from exchange. I don't know, like, why they bought it. So I want to make you diligence. How I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna right click here and click token movements. By the way, if you want to sign up for Nansen, they have some trial plan and it's a professional tool that's gonna show you all this kind of data. You can use my link in the description below to enjoy a seven days trial for I think $10. So just use the link from the description and you can sign up and start using this tool like I'm doing right now to spot this kind of movements by analyzing the blockchain. Now right click on Serum, token movements, and then I'm gonna pick last week because I've seen that in the last seven days, the token, uh, they purchases, they accumulated $7 million. So I'm gonna search from 4th of uh, 4th of March to 11th of March. And actually I already submitted the search here before. And we can see that Alameda, a light Dex trader, Alameda is basically a hedge fund, a best big trading firm that manages institutional money, big capital of money. They accumulated 4 million tokens, SRM tokens. This is the exact $7 million that we saw over here because one Serum token is around $1.8, 4 million multiplied by 1.8 is around $7 million. And this is basically what is interesting. Alameda, a light dex trader, accumulated $7 million of SRM token. And if they're doing it, 
probably they know something that we don't and they're planning something maybe they want they might be maybe they are market makers and they are gonna make market for sale but this is bullish in my opinion but I want to get into more depth so I found their wallet and I analyze it through the bank and now we're gonna throw go through this uh, wallet of Alameda research this hedge fund and see how they are investing their money by the way guys for exclusive content and alpha DeFi strategies and alerts join my inner secret club and become a patron on my patreon by joining you will also support my goal of creating and providing free DeFi education for the people so this is the wallet here on debunk and we can see that it has 63 million dollars of capital most of the capital is on ethereum and they have one million dollar as well in gnosis and around three million dollars on avalanche so let's start by analyzing the ethereum all their assets on ethereum what kind of tokens they have what kind of DeFi protocols they are using and over here we can see that they have 12 million dollars in ethereum and here you go guys these are the 4 million serum token that srm token that they just purchased 7.3 million dollars this week fresh they probably know something they bought srm they are holding srm they are probably bullish on it it's an assumption but this is what we know we can see that also they have a uh, stable coins usdt another 4 million dollars more of wrapped ETH, which is same as if they have an, a token called bit which is uh, worth looking into because they have five million dollars of this token maybe they are bullish on it they hold some bitcoin dydx ftx token matic gods and prep perp spell a lot of tokens bear in mind that some of these tokens are uh, tokens that they got from rewards from yield funding so you want to do in-depth analysis to see if they are actually bullish on these tokens or maybe they did yield farming for it and they earned I don't know um, maybe they earned perp token so they and they just didn't sell it yet or they are planning to sell it later so you if you doing your diligence for a token and you want to see if it's bullish you want to see when they if they purchase it maybe they earned it through yield farming what are the actions of these tokens buy and sells etc if we scroll down a bit more we can see summaries about what kind of protocols DeFi protocols this hedge fund is using and we can see that they use perpetual finance which is basically a DeFi app that allows you to short a long assets basically by trading etfs on the blockchain in a decentralized way and you can see all their positions for example you see that they have a position of one million dollar long on ether with usdc with a leverage of 2.73 so they it also lets you do leverage trading <coughs> with your metamask wallet or a web3 wallet and they are longing ether with 3x leverage this is very interesting on the other side here we can see that they are shorting dot the polka dot token with three hundred thousand dollars they are also shorting sushi token uh, not very leveraged but still they are shorting it and they are shorting curve so you can see that they're actually if we open coin gecko and look at uh, now all the market is red but if we look at sushi probably these tokens will be more sh red because these hedge funds are shorting them right now let's take a look on the 14 days chart and you can see that this token is declining and these hedge funds are basically earning money out of it because they are shorting it same as curve we can also look at the charts of care you can see that the big players are the ones who are moving the markets and in the 14 days you can see how curve is being shorted by the hedge funds also they are longing bitcoin so you can see that they are longing basically the blue chips bitcoin and ether and they are shorting more altcoins big altcoins but still altcoins dot is another uh, with all the parachains the other alternative for ethereum they short sushi and curve they long bitcoin they short compound token they short alpha omora they short ave they short uni basically they short all the uh, altcoins this is probably one of their strategies grt etc we can we can see the actually the the 
how it works, how, how they are working this hedge fund in this particular wallet. And also I'll put links for all this in the description below for Nansen, for D-Bank, for this wallet, everything you can take a look later and analyze it yourself because this is our goal, my goal here to get you educated and do this analysis yourself. It's nice that you enjoy this video and learning here with me, but I want you to get these tools for yourself and become DeFi masters and do this analysis yourself. We can see that they used compound protocol also but not much. This is their assets on Ethereum. Let's take a look what they have in the Gnosis chain. Basically, they have a Gnosis chain. They have stable coins, XDAI and USDC. Not very interesting. Probably they have a multi-sig wallet there. And let's take a look at Avalanche. In Avalanche, they hold ETH, AVAX, BNB, Joe, some AVE, some Curve, Link, Spell, and they don't use any protocols. So this was the analysis of... Um, uh, Alameda Research Wallet. I hope this was educational for you and you learned something new. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And if you like these uh, videos where I analyze analyze wells here, go to Wallet to see where the market is going, how the big players are playing this crypto DeFi game. Let me know in the comments below so I can make more video like this and expose you to more whales. Thank you so much for watching and learning with me and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye.